you. For you, everything Jesus did, continues to do, is for you. Huper humon. That's the, the Greek for on behalf of you or for you. And when we hear that Jesus did everything for you, he, he suffered before the cross for you. He suffered on the cross for you. He gave up his life for you. He spoke on the cross. It is finished for you. He comes down in bread and wine for you. And we think, well, where's the limit of this for you? Is it just to make me a better person? Or is this for me in the depths of the worst place I could ever be? Like doubt. Remember, Thomas didn't say, I have some questions to ask. Thomas said, unless I put my finger here, my hand here, I will never believe it. I'm not going to believe it unless I see it with my own two eyes. And I've had that time. You've had that time. Does Jesus still love us in there? Was his cross for us in that doubt? Was his cross for us in those moments of functional atheism where we're basically like, hey, maybe none of this is real? Yes, because on the cross... Jesus assumed all of your doubt. Every single moment where you thought, maybe it is evolution over creation. Maybe I'm not forgiven. Maybe this God that I read about in the Old Testament and the New Testament, maybe this stuff didn't happen. A fish swallowing a guy, that couldn't have happened. A dead dude coming out of the grave four days later, that couldn't have happened. Yes, it did, but even more so. What happened for you on the cross is that Jesus took every single moment you doubt all of that and said, this is mine now. And in this blessed exchange, this happy switch, you now have all of his confidence in the Father. That Jesus never wavered, trusting his Father's will. And he now bestows that on you in the forgiveness of your sins. That in Christ now, for you, your doubt is turned into trust. That though you doubt boldly, you trust boldly in Jesus. Now, not something you do, but rather you can trust because Christ says, I've taken care of all of it for you. Your doubt is forgiven. I am yours and you are mine forever, says Jesus, your Lord. So take heart, you who have your skepticism, you who have your doubts. You have maybe even gone years thinking you're a pretty cool atheist. I don't know if that's how they say it anymore. But even for that, Christ died for you. He rose for you, that you may live forever with him. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.